Now I want you to notice here in the clouds how the sun is illuminating that little patch underneath the cloud there. A little wispy bit that's underneath where it's real grey. Now you see the sun's over here. Of course it was a bit clearer before. Now to my mind if the sun was 93 million miles away and I stood on that cloud it should still be in the same position that I'm looking at it here because my small distance to move over to this cloud would be nothing to 93 million. But from what I can observe here, looks to me like the sun is really side on to that cloud. You can see why it's illuminating all that side of it and getting it underneath of it. You see, that doesn't add up with the idea that the sun is 93 million miles away. I'm sorry to tell you, that is very strange indeed. Uh, if, it, if the sun's 93 million in my opinion because I said if you go over to those clouds you should be able to see the sun really in the same position still as this because look at that distance to there is only you know is it 10 miles 20 miles I'm not exactly sure might be a bit less it's certainly nothing on 93 million this is what we see with uh, the sun when it sets in the night you know, and it's low on the horizon, you see beams going different directions. And that uh, old experiment by that guy in Greece, um, uh, es, I can't pronounce it, Estathenos or whatever it is, Erastathenos, the guy with the two sticks anyway, you know the one. Well, we know that all that Greek history is pretty fraudulent anyway, for a start. And uh, he was probably just trying to measure the... Uh, distance from the sun and it's just been ad hoc on later that certainly is a little bit of evidence in my opinion